Hello, everybody. Welcome to our YouTube channel called um, Living the Crafty Life. I forgot. <laughs> I'm Tina from Tina's Tasteful Treasures, and this is my son, Brayden. Brayden. This is our first YouTube review. review. We picked up this color chemistry, which is by Crayola. And if you saw our live on Facebook. Yep, on Facebook. Um, we definitely showed it to you all mm -hmm. if you're watching this video right now. Yep. We do lives, um, the two of us together, every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my Facebook, which is Tina's Tasteful Treasures. What was that? I also you? do a live every Saturday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Tina's Tasteful Treasures. So come over there and check us out if you have it, and let's get to the review. So I picked this up from Walmart. It was actually on clearance. It was normally $24.76. And we got it on clearance for $12. So we're going to see if it was worth the original $24.76. If it's worth the $12. Or if it's worth nothing. Let's get to it. So we might need a bit of scissors or a knife. Oh, Since right. we just did our live, we have scissors on hand. And cut that tape, cut that tape, cut that tape. Tape, tape, tape. All right, so it says it has instructions for 50 experiments. We're not going to do all 50. We'll go with five. If they're short, maybe we'll do a little bit more. If they're longer, then we'll we'll see how many we can get to. Okay, go. All right. Is that lava thing looks cool. So it says you can do the erupting volcano, glow worms, um, sticky slime, watercolor ice, colorful algae. Tornado in a bottle, rubbing, rubber goo, and a whole bunch of others. My thing is, is I love these type of things, but they never give you everything that you need. So let's see if Crayola does or if we have to add our own stuff. All right, so here is the instructions book, which is pretty thick. I'll give them that, but with 50 experiments, it should be. Wait, it has 50? Yeah, it says instructions for 50 experiments and that's my other thing okay so can you do all 50 experiments with just this little bit of stuff i highly doubt it or can you only pick and choose so many before you run out of stuff we're gonna find out i'm already starting to see some liquid which is good um it says do not eat which is also good well done we don't want the kitties eating stuff we got some different colors we've got some slime part a some glow stuff two things of model magic and some funnels and things there all What's right this? so do you i don't know we'll have to Ooh, find out I just dropped it that's accident. okay so do we want to just pick a random thing out of here and see just open to a random page Honestly, or i want to just try and go for the volcano okay so we got to find the volcano first so that may take us a while since there is a 50 experiments pages. so give us one second and i'll find the volcano and we'll be right back okay we found it it is the erupting volcano on page seven luckily we already have some stuff done the so it starts by um, telling you that you need water and a paper plate. So luckily we had some paper plates and water. And water, right. And that's for your brush. So it says, on a disposable plate, make a volcano using the two pouches of model magic by pressing them around the plastic volcano tube. a plastic volcano tube that's the thing that's the, here um be sure the core in the middle of the opening of the volcano tube is uncovered by the model magic all right so the tube is uncovered yeah you're gonna cover it like it would be a volcano so you're gonna leave that open so you can pour the stuff in so this is model magic um 
I love Model Magic. I use it all the time. And I can tell you right now, this is old, very old Model Magic because it's already starting to dry out some. Normally, you would be able to use this and condition it. Let me see it. Yeah, it's already been really it's starting to dry really out already. Dry. So that's going to be the first issue. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open this one too just to make sure. This one's a little bit better. You can feel the difference. Yeah, this one's a bit more new. This one's a bit more old. So as you can see, this one's definitely has a little more elasticity to it. That one's just going to kind of break apart as you pull on it. So um, if you want to, because we do use air dry clay a lot, if you didn't know. Do you want to get me a little bit of the other clay? The other Model 8? Yeah, the other air dry clay. The other Model 8. Right. It's not Model Magic. This is Mod 8. Yep. It's so we're just using another air dry clay. It's basically the same as the Model Magic. Hello, I'm Matt. Um, but it's not Crayola brand. So since we're using a Crayola thing, I'm not going to show you what I'm using. And it's actually Crazy Art, which not to bully Crayola, but Crazy Art is way better. <laughs> Their crayons rule. You think so? Yes. Hmm, I don't know. See, when I grew up, it was always Crayola. You had to get the big, like, 64-pack or Crayola crayons and... So I'm just kind of kneading the two together right now. And then I will let you go ahead and form your volcano, volcano around that. Why did I say volcano like that? Why not? There you go, sir. Okay, so we are just... It's a little on the sticky side, so just be careful. Yeah, it's really sticky. Just about... Why did I stutter right there? <laughs> Sometimes talking's not as easy as people think it is. Yep. So, if you want. Got it? Can't watch this. I'm going to show you a trick. Mm -hmm. So, if you... And then we're going to just kind of pull, pull it down some. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we did our volcano cupcakes? Yeah, why can't we just, like... We can. Roll it on the ground like that? Well, because you're just forming it around here because it's a volcano, right? Mm-hmm. So there you go, right? Um, form this better. I'm not That's right. You can do that part. You do that. Crusty crayon. So then the next step after you do that is you fill your beaker about halfway full of water and use that to clean your paintbrush. We have already cleaned the paintbrushes. We already have some water to clean them when we're painting. And we have another paintbrush that we will probably be using. Instead of this one. Um, so now we get to use a paintbrush and either mix the inks, which they give you to color that, or you can use regular paint. We already have some brown paint from our earlier tutorial, so we're just going to use some of that to go ahead and paint our volcano. So we're currently doing it right now, and we'll probably have to wait for this to dry before we use it. I don't know. That's just my theory. Yep, so if you get a good light layer on it, it should dry pretty quickly. You know, no, go ahead and just pull that down. That way you don't have too much on it, because if you have too much on it, it's going to take forever to dry. This? Mm-hmm. Yep, you got it. Can you do the rest? You want me to do the rest? All right. Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of doing all this painting. I know this is our second video of painting, so we've been painting, painting, painting. Painty, paint. Wait. Painty, 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 painty. And I'm even going to paint it down into the plate, just in case we decide we wanted to make it look cute. So, that's fine. We want to make it look cute. We like everything cute. Like all a right. collar, don't we? So, we're going to let this dry a little bit. And then we will be back to start the experiment. Here we go. So it's now painted and dry. <laughs> what uh, your next thing is to add two fizzy tabs into the plastic volcano tube in the center of the volcano. We're gonna add two fizzy tabs. 
What color? Oh. They're different colors, so you can pick whatever color you want. I There's oh, red, yellow. blue, and yellow. Red and yellow. So we do a red and yellow tab. Mm -hmm. So how do we make it come out like that? If it does do that. Well, once you add the fizzy tabs, we fill the beaker half full of warm water. So you want to get the beaker ready. And we already have the beaker? Yep, the beaker in here. The beaker of warm water. You're going to fill it fill up just halfway. Which is 30. Yep, with warm okay, water. Here All right, am I putting the tabs in or do you want to put the tabs in? I want to put the tabs in. All right, there's one. I want to put, put two of each. No, it says just two. I hope it does this. I um, doubt it will, but we'll see. All right, so one um, red. If it does, one yellow. Run. All right, now we're going to fill it up halfway up with warm water. We went ahead and warmed the water and put it down on the table because it's easier to measure that way. Let me know when it gets to the 30. Hold on. Hold on a bit more. Just turn. A bit more. Stop. Oh, wait, no. A bit more. A little bit more. Right here. There you go. Alright, so fill there it up go. to the 30. 30 minute mark. And then slowly add the warm water into the plastic volcano tube in the center of the volcano until the volcano starts to erupt. Using the pipette, which is your little thingy that you were squeezing. What'd you do with your squeezy thing? The squeezy thing. That you were playing with this right here? I'm pretty sure I... Yep. We then... In the top with water to erupt again, but you no, know, not yet. Not you would do it in this water. Oh, okay. What's that water? This is the same warm water that you just put in there, extra. And then you rinse out the volcano with water and save for the next experiment. All right, so get ready. Go ahead and put it in. Let's put it in the center so we can stay. Mom, can you do it? If I um center it, and I'm just gonna stay back and watch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't shake the table. Oh my gosh. Actually pretty. Oh my gosh. Why didn't we use this for our last volcano as craft? Well, because it probably would have messed up all the stuff. Why would it? Because it's water. So it would have messed up the spackle and stuff. Oh, yeah. Good point. I right, love it. Add some more. Why don't you just go full on crazy? What would happen then if you just uh, went... Like this? It's just going to go water everywhere. Say. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. Now we use I don't this. think you're going to need to. It's still going. It's just to add more to get it to go some more. See? That's it. That's that. It was pretty, but definitely not the wow that I was looking for. What about you? Not even close. All right. On to the next experiment. Wait. What will happen if I do? On to the next experiment? Yep. All right. This looks so cool. <laughs> and we'll be back. Oh, All right, we're back again. And I wanted to say, um, so the next experiment, which is another eruption of color, um, is basically doing the same thing, but you're using um, apple cider vinegar. So that's another thing that you would need to incorporate to do this, as well as the paper plate, the water, and that's it so far. Would so, it look different? Would it be like this type or would it still be the same as the other one? Probably be still the same. I wonder what would happen if we did the same in both of them, the things. Or if we added more of that stuff. Or like, I don't know what to do. It's just so cool. <laughs> So much to do. And actually, All right, so we're I gonna... think I know why you could add the blue water geyser. <laughs> you could, yeah. All right, so we're just going to pick a random page now? Yep. All right. So this is Fizzy Dizzy. 
We're gonna use the fizzy again, it sounds like. So we're gonna fill the beaker up halfway with wa warm water. Warm water, again. And drop a fizzy tab and watch how much fizz to watch how much the fizzy tab foams and if you have a timer record it and until it stops foaming empty the beaker and rinse it out next fill the beaker about halfway with cool water and place the beaker back in and see and time it so we're not going to do both so which do you want to try it with the cold water or the warm water the cold water okay we're going to try it with cold water we'll probably try both no, I just said we're not going to do both. Oh. Because we just kind of did the warm water and the volcano. So we kind of saw that already. We haven't done it with cold water yet. So let's try with cold water. How much did it say when you Same halfway. So there you go. One. Bloop. All right. See how much it fizzes. It's a lot of fizzing. Should I add more colors? Hmm. No. I just said the halfway was one. I want to add more colors. I know. So just cool. wait. I don't know why. Whoa. That's now not drinkable. Apollo's getting really interested in We have a doggy sniffing. He's like, hmm, what's that smell? So it's actually still fizzing. I don't know if you can see it on the back side. The back side. The back side of water. What does that mean? Is that a reference to something? Yeah, Disney. Disney's what? The Jungle Cruise. Remember when we go under the waterfall? The eighth wonder of the world. The backside of water. I don't get it. I've never seen the Jungle Cru Cruise. You've rode on the Jungle Cruise many a times. I did? Yes, you have. That's okay. You don't remember. You'll remember when you ride it again. I like how much foam is sitting at the top of it. Hey, Mom. Where so it almost looks like a this? blue latte. Where should we pour this? <clears throat> Into one of these things, maybe? Like, these could be our experiments with the water stuff. Do you want to put some of that in there? It's all not going to fit in there, but if you want to pour a little bit in there, that's fine. Oops. I I put a bit too much. Just it comes out really much. fast. All right. So we're going to go ahead and dump this. So we've seen this experiment and see uh what our next one's gonna be all right we'll be right back all right we're back again <laughs> all right we had to clean up some of that mess so the next one that we're on to is the glow worms glow worms <laughs> sounds exciting all right so the first thing you're gonna do is remove the flat cap from the calcium chloride and remove seal and then replace with a nozzle i believe this is it all right, what's it say? Calcium, Calcium chloride. chloride. All right, so be very careful. Put that on the table, and then we're going to put one of these caps on it. Actually, it doesn't have that thing string there, so I'm believing it's yeah. this. No, it does. It's right here. You're taking the flat one off and putting this one on. Oh, oh, there's a little piece of plastic right here. Yep, be careful. You don't want to spill it everywhere. Put it down when you do it. Yeah, I can't open it. Mom's got nails. One of the nice things about having nails. I can open stuff. Alright, so then we put this one Ooh. on. You want to put that no. one on? It's fine because it's just going to go on top of it. Alright, so we're going to gently squirt the calcium chloride solution into the jar about three quarters full. So you're not going to go all the way up. It's a jar, so I'm assuming it's this thing. That's the jar. You want to scoot over some. You're way off the side. There we go. <laughs> we like seeing your cute little face with us. I'm not cute. Okay. All right. So you're going to fill it up. I love that. Okay. You just did. Because I'm not going to argue with you. You know you're cute. So you got to take the cat back off. Wait, what? This. That makes no sense. That. Oh. <laughs> I know something spill. So you're going to squeeze it till it's about three quarters of the way up. Yeah, at this rate, you should have just poured it. Keep going. I think it's going to use all of it. <laughs> Alright, that's about three quarters. It's all of it, wasn't it? <laughs> Why didn't they just say, put the whole bottle in there? Alright. 
So next you're gonna gently squirt some of the glow uh, solution into the jar with the calcium chloride. All right, so we get your glow stuff. I believe that is this one here. That one, yep, all right. And you're gonna gently squeeze I've it. always wanted to try and like do this to like oh, pop no, the bottle cap work. off, but it's never gonna work in my life, so. And Can you get that one? Mm -hmm. Little pad. Can you pull it? Uh, Apollo. No, we're in, we're doing experiments. You can't come up here, nose. Don't nose, know. nose. All right, let me get it. No, I got it. You got it. This might take a while. Well, here, let me yeah. do it then. <laughs> there you go. All right, so you're going to gently squirt some into the jar. Wait a minute. This kind of looks like a, like. A tiki house kind of sort of what it's called, it would be called. There you go. Gently squirt some in. How much? Just to do a worm, a little worm. All right, you do another worm if you want. All right. That's good. I don't know how to that works. All right, put the lid back on that. Shake it up. Nope, and it says, go ahead and, nope. All right, so feel free to grab your worm out of the jar using the pipette, and then see how your worm feels. Um, Mom? What? How do I? Where's the lid? I don't know. Okay. Nope, that's not it. We'll worry about it. Why did you just try it? I didn't know. All right, you ready? Oh, I think this is it. Yep, that's it. All right, so you want to try and get one of your worms out? Yup. No, you don't need to squeeze this. You don't want to squeeze that out. Oh. And you're just using it as like a little. All right, now grab your worm and see how it does it feel. It doesn't feel like anything. No? All right, let me see. I mean, it feels it's kind Ooh, of rubbery. Gosh. It's not it's not as soft as when it came out. It's kind of rubbery, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And so these are glow activated, but we're you don't want to turn the lights off and say no. No. All right. So we'll check on that later and let you know in the description box if box if it glowed or not. All right. Disappointment. I'm not happy. So but can... I also have a mustache. <laughs> I have a mustache. All right, so you can put these off to the side, and then it says to put your um, calcium chloride back into your jar very, very easily. I'll hold it. You go ahead. Um, I have an idea. No. Solution, solution, solution. Oh, it's already failed. Yeah, go ahead. Very, very, here. Very, very easily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. There you go. Boop, Perfect. Boop, 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 boop. If you tipped this when you were doing it, it was just going to spill right down onto you as you poured it. Oh. So you got to keep this one straight up and down when you pour. I Good don't job. know how people do this. It's like a... Mixologists, they've done lots of training. All right. So no, then... Like, oops. I wasn't able to do that. They like do tricks while like mixing something. I don't know what it's called. So the next experiment, it says tougher and tougher time and again. So basically, if you would just keep putting the worms back into that solution, and they keep getting harder. Harder and harder and harder until Which they're unbreakable. Sense. All right, so I'm going to try bouncing colored bubbles. Another bubble one. What's it need with it? Oil. See, I'm finding with a lot of these, you either need oil or... Um, apple cider vinegar they've all asked you to add stuff to it which again if you're getting this as a present for somebody and say here go have fun do some experiments they're not going to be able to do half of them because it doesn't come with all the stuff that you need so right now even at $12 I don't see it to be worth it um, I know he's having a good time so you know you gotta weigh your options so the best thing to do is if you're, you're going to do these at nighttime or, you know, together as some experiments, then I would go through, pick the ones that you want to do ahead of time and gather all the stuff up. 
Don't just open the box and start doing them. All right, so we're going to see if we can do one more. Yes? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Which one? That's the same um, where you put the fizzy in the thing, but you need the oil. I don't know if we have enough cooking oil. Do you know where to find the cooking oil? I'll try. All right, we're going to be right back while I try to help him find the cooking oil. So this will probably be our last experiment. Hold on. And then we'll have our final thoughts. We'll be right back. I think this is it. And that quick, you found the cooking oil. I usually do have it around the oven. Vegetable oil. Yeah, this vegetable is a vegetable oil. oil. It doesn't say if it needs to be um, canola oil or anything like that. It just says that it needs to be um, cooking oil. That dog yes. is going to get on my nerves at some point in this video. He just wants to be a part of it too. All right, so, so for that one, um, we still use the same one that we did. So where do we pour this? It stays. Then you're going to pour about 20 milliliters of water, carefully add about 10 milliliters of cooking oil. Okay, so no, we do need to dump this. Yeah, we can dump it in here for now. And what color are you going to do? I'm probably going to do blue. No, you're not using that. You're using the fizzy things again. Oh, I'm going to use, wait, didn't they say I was going to use one No, it's the fizzy things. Oh, black. I would choose black. Yeah, but we're not doing that. We're doing fizzy things. Oh. <laughs> All right, so pick whatever fizzy. So we need about um, 20 milliliters of water. Doesn't say if it needs to be cold or, or warm. Is so this which, edible? No, they're not edible. What are they made the of? The first thing it says on the outside of the package is what? What are they made of? Um, some kind of chemical that makes a reaction. We can look it up in a minute. Okay, not yet. So we're going to put the 20 milliliters of water in, right? 20 milliliters. And then 10 milliliters of the cooking oil. And then that'll be right here. And it should be filled up to the 30 milliliter mark. Just a little bit more. Good. Yup. Slowly start adding salt to the graduate Wait. cylinder. Add enough salt so that the oil starts to form individual. Yeah, we gotta get salt. And we'll be right back again. We'll be right back again. All right, do you know where to look? Probably over there. Towards the stove again. And we'll be right back. Yeah. So now that's oil and salt that we've needed just for this experiment. We'll be right back. So I just ran and got the salt and... So now you're gonna slowly start adding the salt to the cylinder. So just a little bit, nope, you pour it this way. Um, add enough salt so that the oil starts to form individual globules. Globule, yeah, one of them things. So easy, easy, easy. Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. That's all right. There you go. You just don't want to push on that because I'll close it. So, yep. He's making gobules. You know, you've done too much at one time here. Let me see. I think those bubbles are gobules. I think those bubbles are gobules. I know, but I think ours just kind of clumped down to the bottom. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it might have been too much. Wait, Mom. Where's your little thingy? Let's see. Let's see if we stir it. What happens? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's keep going. In the picture, it looks like they're adding two. It says add the fizzy tab and no, two. No, they're, they're adding two. Okay, well, add two if you want to. Yellow and red. Yellow and red again? Mm -hmm. Just like in the picture. Volcano? Mm hmm. Ah. Got it. Got it. Good job. All right, so we're going to put it up here so y'all can see what happens. 
Here we go. Hopefully this works. And we'll just wait a little no, moment. Look what it's doing. Look what it's doing. Oh, it's already happening. It's almost like a lava lamp. It is kind of... It's honestly beautiful. If it... If we added some of that glow stuff, honestly... You know what we could add to it? What? Watch this. The glow stuff? No. Nope. Um, Where's the little? Less huh? chunky. Less chunky one. The less oh, chunky. you already put it away? Mm. I got it. You got it? Oh, oh, we might not get to get anything in there. Look, look what it's doing. Uh-oh. No, don't. Leave it. Let it go. Yeah, put it on that. There you go. <laughs> here, look, here comes Dinky again. What? I know. You want to be in the middle of it too, huh? It's not going to go inside of it. That's the only thing. You should have done that like at the first. Okay, now it's beautiful and it has glitter on it too. Y'all see? Come on, pilot, watch out. Now it's really fizzing. Now that we... Wait a minute. Do it. No. All right. Just need to get a little bit of extraction. Well, we can do that once it's done. Yeah, good point. Once we it's done, then we can add stuff. some. But I think it's pretty cool on that one. Um, this might be an issue because we might have added a bit too much salt. That's okay. Well, it doesn't tell you. We're going by the instructions. So, they should be kid-friendly instructions for everybody to try and figure out. It's still kind of fizzing at the bottom. Doing its little thing. It's doing its little thing. So, for... For now, we only have one of these things filled to pretty much the brim of one of our past experiments. I'm pretty sure this is it. Mm -hmm. And so far, we're doing pretty good. I should have done this to extract it and then put it in here, but okay. what was I thinking, honestly, at the first time? But oh, It was wait. just something to try. Put some of your other experiment juice. You gotta take it out of the wire as you're pushing it. There you go. A little bit more. Good? I think that's enough. Yep. Alright. Um, wipe this off with a bit of paper towel. I'll do that as your assistant while you close up your experiment and juice. Done. Second experiment juice down. So, uh, I think... Yeah, I think we're going to be done with the experiments for now. Uh, we've done quite a few. I know I've already come up with my opinion on this. You don't like it. I'm going to let you give your opinion first. And then I will give, you can give your opinion as how you feel about it as a kid that would receive this. And I'm going to give my opinion as a, uh, an adult that's either giving it or doing it with you. Okay? I'd honestly rate it a bit of him. One out of five. One being the lowest, five being the smallest. One being the lowest, five being the oh, smallest? five being the highest. One being the lowest. Three Raiden heads. Three Mario stars. Yes. Okay, three Mario stars. We can't do video editing. We'll get them next time. <laughs> so how, why are you giving it three stars? I mean... It definitely could have been better. What what could have been better? The entire thing itself. And I just wanted to see. Alright, go ahead and add it in there. So you think the explosion... Look how it sucked back down. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you think the explosions and, and stuff should have been bigger? Yes, most definitely. And what else? Any other things that you would have liked to have seen it done differently? Um, honestly... All in all, it was really great, honestly. Okay, so, but you gave it a three out of five. So why three out of five? I mean, in this, um, 
I guess, paper art. It the shows directions. it doing this. Right. Which didn't happen at all. So you kind of feel a little slighted because it didn't explode that way. Mm -hmm. Like you wanted it to. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I mean, if you're a kid and you're getting something and you see that graphic on the front, and you think your volcano is going to do that, and it doesn't, and it did what it did, I would be disappointed too. So, I get it. All right. So, as a parent or somebody buying this for a child or a classroom or something like that, um, I would not have paid the $25 for it. If I had known this, I would have never paid $25 for it. Um, at $12... Still, I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Um, model light, like I know you can buy it for a dollar in the Dollar Tree. So that's $2 right there. You are getting some cool things here that you could probably use. Again, my concern is if you buy this for your child, like I did, and you're like, okay, you know what? Let's go have some fun and do some experiments to like, let's open that box. You don't know that you need oil you don't water and salt and apple cider vinegar and big bowls and paper plates and there were so many things that you needed extra that it didn't supply you that that can be very frustrating if you're sitting down and you're ready and you're like all right let's go do a half of these experiments so for me on that basis alone yes i think i understand why they want you to have to get it yourself. Why? That would just be too much free stuff they're giving you. I mean, if they ha kept it the way it was and gave you all of this stuff, it would just be like a walk in the park for just saving money. Right. Well, I get it for something. So, like, water. Most people have water, so that's an easy thing. Um, oil could be a little. Apple cider vinegar could be a little. Yes, those are experiments you don't have to do. Salt, most people have salt on hand, so that's fine too. One thing they could have done, and this is just in a suggestion, and that's because I'm a thinker like that. So they give you this plastic thing that has all the divided parts for the things that it holds. Why don't you just put it in something that's like a bowl shape so they can use it? Or something that is a paper plate shape, or even, you know... A bowl with a lid. So then you can use the lid as a plate and the bowl as a bowl. This could count as a bowl. That's ours. That didn't come with it. It should have. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. So small things like that are things that they could have done. They were chances for them to make it so more things were included so you could do more of the experiments. So based on that, I'm definitely going to give it three out of five. Mario stars and um, yeah if it's not on sale and it's not on clearance at your Walmart don't get it um, so save your money and get something else or buy you know some of the stuff like there's great recipes online to make a volcano that will actually explode and I'll get that and we'll do that one one night so that way you can actually see a real volcano do its thing do so, its thing. Do its thing. All right. So, thank you for joining us for our actual full made for YouTube only video, which was a review. Oops. We hope to have more for you next time. Anything that you want to say, Brayden? Well, if you're a kid, I would ish suggest this to you, but if you're a parent buying it for your kid, I just say you wouldn't, sh you shouldn't. Now, now, let me ask you this. Okay, you just got your allowance and you're heading to Walmart and you have $25 to spend. Or even if you saw it on clearance for $12 to spend. I'm just going to put this in here. Okay. That's fine. Oops. Would you buy this or would you buy something else? I'd honestly just buy... Hmm. Honestly, I thought it was kind of good, but... Honestly, I feel like I've definitely seen better. And I think you're having more fun doing other stuff outside of the regular experiments. You're having more fun creating your own stuff over here 
than you are, did with the actual experiment itself. Am I right? She. Yeah. All right. So make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified of any of our upcoming videos. We have plenty of content that will be coming to you, not just reviews. We also do crafts. You've seen them. Um, I've shared some of our lives from Tina's Tasteful Treasures. Shared? Yes. It's a YouTube. You can say it. That I have shared with you all. I will put some information to the Facebook page and all in the description down below. And we'll let you know if our worms actually glowed or not. So until next time, have a great night. Have a great week. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.